Hi guys, welcome to or back to my channel. I'm Sydney if you're new. Today we're going to be, as the title says, going over my summer hygiene must-haves. I mean, summer and hygiene like obviously go hand in hand because you're warmer, you're sweatier, you're wearing less clothes, more of your body gets exposed. So you just like need to do a few extra steps or a few, you might want to be mindful of a few things that maybe you're not as mindful of in the winter time. So I wanted to make a video of all of my favorite products so maybe I could help you out. I actually recently watched Haley Gamba. Is that how you say her last name? I love her. Um, she's one of my favorite YouTubers, but I recently watched her Summer Must Haves video and it inspired me to make my own because I feel like I have products that, and I'm like always recommending products, and recently especially I've been really in love with the like shower situation and everything I have going on, and like I feel like it's pretty common for maybe women especially to have like a fear of smelling bad. I know I have that, so I thought I would share some of my favorites with you guys so you can kind of have like a good smell and you know, not have that worry this summer. We want to be shaking our ass on a yacht, not worried about it if we smell bad. So I made a list and let's dive into it. So the first thing, we're going to start off really simple, bare minimum, deodorant. I'm very picky when it comes to, well, it's, I don't even do deodorant. It's any purse brand. I'm very picky because I, I sweat. And my whole, like, I guess ever since puberty, like, I have had a hard time finding a good antiperspirant or deodorant that made me smell good. I feel like there was a phase where I was trying to be a natural deodorant girl because that just kind of aligns with who I am in the sense of like, I don't like putting too many chemicals in my body and like I know antiperspirant is really bad. I tried like the detoxing of the armpits and like the different things you can rub on your arm. It just didn't work. If you have tips, leave them down below, but I promise you I've probably tried them all. The antiperspirant that has never failed me, never let me down, is the brand Mitchum. They're aluminum free, which makes me feel a little bit better. Like I have the man Mitchum deodorant right now because they were sold out of the women's when I went to the store the other day. Was it Walmart, I believe? So I definitely recommend the Mitchum women's whatever scent deodorant. It lasts the longest. I don't wanna have to reapply deodorant during the day or antiperspirant during the day. I don't have time for that. I just want to put it on in the morning and now I'm I not have to worry about my armpits smelling like sweat. Next thing that kind of goes hand in hand with that, when I put my, when I'm showering and I'm trying to wipe, like I'm washing my body, when I am washing under my armpits, they get like that, you know, if you wear antiperspirant, you can tell there's product there obviously. And antiperspirant is supposed to like keep that barrier on your skin so that the sweat and the smell and whatever can't get through. So there's like this film under your armpits and like so I highly recommend a like minty wash, a min minty body wash on top of double cleansing. So I double cleanse my whole body now because I also double shampoo and I feel like the first time you're going over your body with soap or body wash or even when you're shampooing for the first time, you're just like lifting the dirt off of your skin and like off of your scalp and stuff. And then the second time you're rinsing it off. My soap recommendation is the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap in the Peppermint Scent. Haley Gamba, I don't wanna be saying her name wrong, but Haley also said this in her video. I'll link her video down below because there were a few products on her list that I wanted to buy. I actually have not tried this soap, so I'm recommending it without trying it, but I have it on order from Amazon. But I've been using my boyfriend's shampoo because my boyfriend's shampoo has like a menthol, minty feeling, cooling feeling. And I've been using it for the past week after watching Haley's video because I'm like, man, eh, same thing until my soap can arrive. My next tip is obviously you want your body wash and your lotion to smell the same. A scent combo or a scent I really like for the summertime and I just love this brand in general for bath and body stuff is the Soap and Glory Magnify Cocoa scent. It's like a coconutty clean scent is how they describe it but it's yeah, so good. But on top of that the lotion or the body butter I should be saying the body butter in that scent has a shimmer in it. It has yeah it's like shimmery. 
So when you put it on, your skin is so shimmery and it's so beautiful on like fresh tan skin. Like I love this for the morning. If I'm gonna shower during the day or in the morning or whatever, I use this body wash and that body butter when I come out of the shower. And it's a beautiful pair. I've been told multiple times when wearing like this, like when I've had this scent on, it is strong. So if you're going anywhere that's like perfume free or something, like I work, usually I work in an elementary school, I would never put this on before going to work because it's noticeable that you have something on. I've had like a few people tell me that that smells like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Or if you use that or wear that or whatever I'm trying to say. This is much cheaper. I get this at Shoppers if you're Canadian. I think the body wash is 14 or $16 and the body butter is 18 You can also get a body scrub of the same scent. Don't wear the same, like I don't wear that scent to bed because I feel like it's one a waste because the shimmery lotion. And secondly, it's not like a sleepy smell. Sylvan Glory also has a sleep scent. I'm not 100% sure what it's called. It's very lavendery. It's called Perfect Zen. And it's a lavender bergamot citrus blend. They have a body butter in that and a shower oil, which I think, like I've smelled them in store before. I just haven't bought them yet. But again, they're on my like, I can't, I... I'm on strike right now, I'm not working. I can't just be buying everything, but they're on my want list. It's just like a nice sleep scent. And I just like, I love to have like a nice shower or you have a nice bath and then you get all lotioned up and you have like a cute PJ set on and it's like the windows open cause it's warm out and you like hear the crickets. I don't know if you live in a city, you wouldn't hear the crickets, but I live in the woods. Those are my recommendations for body wash, body lotion, body butter combination scent. I'm a big soap and glory gal for that. Next thing I'm going to go over is exfoliation. So in the shower, I have exfoliation mitts. I get at the dollar store. If you're from Canada, Dollarama has the best exfoliation mitts. You can get, I believe, you can get one for like a dollar. Inflation? I don't know. I have a pair of pink that came in the pair from Dollarama, which are a little more abrasive, I must say. Not in a bad way, just like they're more abrasive than my other ones, which I have a pair that I bought two singles, so one's blue and one's two different. But they like, they go as a set, and then the pink ones came as a pair. So those are a great option. I love those to get my tan off. I feel like they're the easiest way to see the tan coming off because you will scrub your body and the mitts will turn orange as gross as that sounds. I recently purchased this one. It's the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in the Brown Sugar and Coconut Butter scent. These pair wonderfully together. It smells so good and usually I hate to say it but I'm kind of like snobbish and I'm like I don't want to buy Dove. I want something a little higher end. Soap and Glory is not anything crazy expensive but their body scrubs are $18. I think this was nine to be honest so like it's I mean it is half of the Soap and Glory but I used this for the first time the other day and it's lovely. It smells really good. It is messy. That's the one problem I have with exfoliating body polishes. The other problem I have is if they're not as good quality, like I want to know what they use in this. In some of these exfoliants, what they use in it is um, too abrasive and can cause micro cuts in your skin, which is just like, it's bad. <laughs> Nobody wants micro cuts in their skin, but it can cause inflammation. Another thing I have on order is African net sponges or towels, African net cloths. Um, everybody is talking about them, saying they're amazing. So I ordered them. I am recommending them before I've ever used them because, I mean, everybody says they're great and I think they're very similar to an exfoliating glove, but I've heard they're better. Even when I'm not like actually exfoliating, like to laugh, like I used to use a loofah, but those breed bacteria and basically I, actually I don't even know if an African net sponge does all that much exfoliating. I think some are a little like more abrasive than others. Alternative to a loofah like the plasticky loofahs that you buy, not like the loofah the plant if you're like, you know, like a natural loofah, you, you do you, I've never used one of those, but I know like the plasticky ones 
caught, oh, can hold bacteria, but I want something to put my body wash on and scrub on my body. And like a washcloth or a face cloth, I find it just is too soft or it's harder to manage onto body oil. I should have done like body wash, then body scrubs and exfoliants, then body lotion, but then body, whatever, body oil. So my favorite body oils, I have two, I think, in particular that I can think of off the top of my head. Yes. The first one is the Palmer's Coconut Scented one. It's in a little bottle. I'll obviously put a picture. It smells lovely. And it goes, obviously, really well with this scent combination if you're using the Magnified Cocoa Soap and Glory scent. And it would go good with this because this also has coconut in it. Kind of the same situation. So in the daytime, keep this in mind, if you're putting body oil on in the daytime and it's summer and you're going out to lay in the sun, don't do it. Because you're you're putting oil on, baby, you're going to cook. Don't do that. Please wear SPF. That's another thing. I don't even know if they have that on here because it's not like a hygiene thing, but you need to wear SPF. So I wouldn't put oil on unless like I was going, if it was like early in the morning, wasn't planning on going outside for a while, I'd let the oil soak in, put SPF, then head out the door. Like if I'm going out for like a nice dinner or a nice like, you know, like a nice patio dinner, I'm still using the scent because it's not bedtime. Like it's nighttime, but it's not bedtime. So I'm still using the scent if I'm going out somewhere. I put body oil on then. The Palmer's oil, we're using that mostly for like scent and like glowy effect, like luminous looking skin. We're not really doing it for nourishment. It also will help trap in the lotion or like the body butter. But the best, like this next body oil is much higher quality. I think it's called Be By The Sea. It's a local Canadian, like local Canadian brand. I don't know if it's like actually local to me. I don't like the scent is pretty neutral, I find, but the like quality of the body oil is lovely. It's much like, I don't want to say thicker because that sounds like you almost wouldn't like it, but I would recommend the Be By The Sea Body Oil before bed. So if you buy the Soap and Glory Perfect Zen or whatever scent, you have your little shower, you have your little bath with your shower oil, you put your beautiful body lotion, body oil on, your body lotion and body butter on and then this be by the sea oil and you'll feel so plump in a good way like your skin will feel like juicy and plump and luminous and glowy and just like you'll wake up and your skin will be so soft the palmer's one's like 11 dollars, and the be by the sea is maybe 30 something next thing i will talk about is self tan so like i said i'm, ve I'm a very pale girl this is me with no tan on, I'm pretty very sure, because I um, scrubbed it all off yesterday. I exfoliated twice, and then I put um, tretinoin on my face last night, and a liquid exfoliant the night before. So it should be all gone. The self-tans I like, I have two favorites. So the Bondi Sands Arrow Express medium or ultra dark or dark whatever color like i'm not gonna tell you what color to get so right now i have the isle of paradise medium this stuff is really good i f oh look at that because my lights are hitting it i like this i don't love a foam because like the foam situation which they have an oil i think but one thing i like about this is you can put this on and it like goes on clear and it doesn't really like appear until hours later so like you can put this on you leave it on for four to six hours i believe i'll do this like i'll put this on after i film this video i'll put this on my body four to six hours later rinse it off i go to bed tomorrow morning i'll notice it but i won't really notice it until tomorrow morning body sands i find stains so if you're gonna sleep in it your sheets i mean it washes out but like you'll see that you had tan on i find that the isle of paradise isn't that bad do not get the foam get the arrow i find the foam is a lot more orange looking has more of an orange tinge whereas the arrow has more of a green tinge i shave i love to be like a waxing gal don't have the money to pay someone to wax me don't have the patience to wax because you have to let your hair grow out i i'm an esthetician so i have like waxing stuff um my legs i can't wax my own legs i tried to wax my bikini area before it did not go well favorite razors are the flamingo razors i they sell them at costco i think they have like a starter 
kid or something at Costco, definitely recommend that if you happen to be in Costco and see it. If not, they have them at Walmart, wherever, wherever. I find they're the best because they're five blade heads. I always used men's razors before stumbling upon Flamingo because they have more razors. Like a lot of women razors have like three blades and it was just like, like on the actual razor head, three blades. And it doesn't give you as good of a shave. Now for oral hygiene, I recommend white strips. There is like, you can swish hydrogen peroxide, I believe, around your mouth. I shouldn't be recommending things if I don't know the science. I know there's something to do with that, but like, I don't do that. I just use whitening strips. They can make your teeth sensitive, so I try to do it like once a month for around 30 to 45 minutes. I like to um, put them in before I go in the shower. If you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen that I did that in my last TikTok video, or by the time you see this, it's probably a few TikTok videos ago, but I put them in before I get in the shower, like my long hair wash exfoliate shave shower then in between like obviously i do that once a month and then other than that i use whitening toothpaste majority of the time and then i switch in sensodyne also so i have whitening toothpaste and sensodyne on hand at all times i don't have crazy sensitivity but i'm scared i'm gonna eventually get it so i just use sensodyne to prevent that for mouthwash i recommend dara breath i believe it's more natural and it works like it lasts longer I just I'm very picky with mouthwash but I just prefer it to like crust and stuff also have a tongue scraper I'm not the best with tongue, tongue scraping I forget about it a lot and I also really enjoy oil pulling but I ran out of coconut oil so I need to get more just whiten your teeth it helps like get rid of the bacteria in your mouth there's a lot of things I don't have a whole list of them but I recommend at least oil pulling. That's like my number one oral hygiene tip. Perfume I use in the summertime is Under the Lemon Tree by Replica. Or like the, it's the Mason Margiela Replica Under the Lemon Tree perfume. Favorite perfume for the summer. Also fresh and lovely. Another scent is the like pistachio caramel, like original bum bum spray. It smells really good with this stuff. I would only wear that as like a refresh later on I wouldn't like shower put that on like I, I never want to smell too much you know I think that a lot of hygiene videos don't really talk about that but like you can smell too strong where it's like offensive and I don't want that I want to just smell good I just want to walk by someone and be like someone be like someone just smelled really good not walk past someone and someone be like that was too much I have a headache you know so keep that in mind the bum bum Cream, the Sol de Janeiro, that's the brand. The Sol de Janeiro Pistachio Caramel Spray smells really good. It goes really good with this. But if you shower in the morning with this and you use the lotion and you use the oil, don't be spraying that on you right away. Just don't, you don't need to. But if you're like doing stuff all day and then you want to refresh the scent before you go out later, give yourself a little spritz that being said that's everything every tip every product i'll have them linked down below some recommendation that was useful let me know some of your favorite products and i might be able to try them out or might be willing to try them out don't forget to like this video and subscribe i have a video kind of similar to this realm let me know if you like this kind of video because these are the type of videos i like to watch on youtube and i like to make videos that i would want to watch I think that makes sense. But yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll have my other socials linked down below. Yeah, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.